So just inviting in some nice deep breaths. Allowing the breath to hit the root chakra, allowing that breath to draw all the way down. And on the exhale, just sighing out anything you might be holding on to. Just really allowing yourself to start being more present. Breathing in, breathing out, and just softening a little with every breath. And this is an invitation for working with Lilith, of calling her energetic being into you, of allowing her vibrational resonance to become a part of you if you feel called to. Trusting in your own inner guidance, trusting in your own space, knowing where your own limits are on this journey right now. Breathing really deep all the way into that root chakra and just allowing that root chakra to start expanding with your breath. And as you start inhaling now, inviting in the color red, Drawing that energy all the way down into your root chakra. You may want to breathe in through the root chakra, up through the perineum. You may want to pull that energy up through your feet from the earth's core. Or you may want to call it in from your heart space. Wherever you feel the most aligned to call that frequency in, allow that to just be shown to you. Where are you breathing from? How are you inviting in your breath? Allowing each breath to be a little fuller. And when you're ready, I want you to invite in Lilith. She may show up to you as an energetic figure. She may show up to you just as a frequency. She may show up to you as a visual. She may show up in your mind's eye, or she may appear as an energy that wants to come into your being. But this is the invitation to allow her to come in whichever way she feels called to. As you surrender into the beat of the drums, surrender into the frequency of this meditation, surrender into your breath a little more, allow her to become a little more present, a little more potent. Allowing her energy to come into your being in the way that feels the most aligned to you. How does she want to be experienced within you? Drawing her energy all the way down into the root chakra, allowing her energy to be 
in that base. You may feel her sitting at the precipice of the perineum. You may feel her sitting at the full vortex of the root chakra. You may feel her completely within your womb space. Just allowing her frequency to come down into that root chakra. And just noticing straight away any messages she has for you, any guidance she may have for you. Allowing your breath external to transmute anything that you're holding on to. Allowing every exhale to be an offering back to the earth of all the things that you are ready to let go of. As we go through this process of clearing out that root chakra, I want you to invite in an energetic figure eight within the root chakra. You may feel Lilith's energy circling around you. You may feel that figure eight energy being drawn by her hand. You may feel that being just a dance within you, this figure eight. And maybe you need to move your hips to allow that figure eight to expand. But just feeling into that frequency, feeling into that figure eight, starting to create an energetic vortex of clearing out. Clearing out anything that is no longer in your alignment. When we feel into the energy of Lilith, she is our self-liberator, she is our self-reclamation, she is our sexual vibrancy and our vitality. She is our fullness, she is our growth and expansion, she is our abundance and fertility, she is how we birth all into life. And as you start to feel into that, I want you to start allowing this figure eight energy to clear out anywhere in your being that feels repressed, where you are not experiencing these energies. And just allowing that exhale to transmute anything. Maybe you have been sexually repressed for a month, for a year, for your whole life. Maybe you have lost fragments of your soul that you want to reclaim back. Maybe you've had your boundaries breached over and over again and you want to learn how to strengthen your boundaries. Maybe you're ready to birth something new into this world but you've had no energy or desire to make that happen. Just noticing as this energy starts to move through that root chakra focused all the way into that root chakra just how much energy wants to clear out of there allowing that beautiful vortex energy to be created and as you start to really drop into this figure eight feeling into how that weaves back and forth the light and the dark Maybe you'll feel into each section of this figure eight holds the frequency of the dark, the shadows, the repressed nature, and the other half holds the frequency of your light. Or maybe it's a beautiful dance of the two, bringing everything to the surface for you to bear witness to it. Asking Lilith for guidance along the way. She is here to be your guide. She is here to be your liberator.
allowing the energy to continuously be moving through that root chakra, clearing out anything that needs to be brought to the surface. How long will you sit by while this energy controls you, this repressed energy conditions you? Will you allow this frequency to clear through that entire base? Waking up any dormant DNA. feel like you want to start moving your body a little bit moving your hips if you need to to really allow for that energy to move through you you may feel like your body wants to stretch a little bit to make more room to experience the fullness of this energy rather than the repressed nature that has existed in that root chakra As you allow that frequency to keep working its beautiful magic down in that root chakra, I want you to bring the energy up into the sacral chakra. And again, creating a figure eight energy within the sacral chakra, within your heart, within your womb space. Maybe you want to feel that energy moving through each part of your womb space in your hara. Maybe it wants to circle around the ovaries, clearing out any energy there. Maybe it wants to circle within the womb. To clear out any repression that you have about feeling into the fullness of your sexuality. Feeling into the fullness. Of your own inner magic. Feeling into those places where you have given away aspects of your own soul to someone else and where you need to reclaim them. Allowing that energy to move through that beautiful sacral chakra space, the entirety of that space, and allowing the energy to clear through anything that it is holding onto. That out breath, allowing that to be the transmutation of those stagnant, stuck, repressed energies. Feeling the energy becoming stronger within you, feeling her frequency becoming a part of you. Feeling into the frequency of Lilith that wants to become embodied. That wants to be completely integrated into your wholeness. As her energy cleans up these two chakras, the root and the sacral, completely clearing out anything that is keeping you repressed. Completely clearing out anything that is keeping you stuck in your own. nature that you need to liberate that you need to find your own sense of independence and freedom within calling in that space of inner unity within your whole being feeling into any past constructs society's conditionings past beliefs any conceptualized ideas, intellectualized thoughts that have been gifted to you by other people that are no longer yours, that you want to clear out of your being, separating yourself completely, divorcing yourself completely from these old outdated principles and ideas and beliefs, 
Separating yourself from society's cages and conditionings. If you need to come through and break those chains, break those cages, allow yourself to be released from this frequency. You are your own liberator. You are your own freedom fighter. You are your own savior. And separating yourself from these old outdated beliefs, these old constructs, these paralyzing fears and crippling beliefs that have been given to us by other people. By separating yourself completely, you can find your own space of truth, your own individual space of truth within your own individual space of wholeness and inner union. And from that, you can then gift that out into the world and find union within a world. Allowing this energy to come through and heal any parts of you that you feel are unlovable, any parts of you that you are feeling broken, that you have felt betrayed, that you have felt that you have self-rejected, self-suppressed any parts of yourself this lifetime or past where you have felt ashamed of your sexuality your sexual desires your divine life force energy and allowing this frequency allow those to come through and heal those lost parts of you to heal those wounds Allowing the energy to move through you even more. Can you feel the intensity building? Can you feel that frequency as it goes back and forth, figure eighting throughout your root chakra and your sacral chakra? <sighs> creating some heat, creating some energy. Stirring up the blood within you. Stirring up your own sense of complete and total wholeness. Feeling her frequency start to shift from just being a conceptualized thought into a fully embodied feeling. Feeling her frequency make its way into your bones, into your muscles, into your blood vessels, into your cells, into the spaces within. Feeling her completely overwhelming your entire system with her frequency, clearing out anything that is keeping you repressed. Clearing out anything that is ready for death and transformation so that you can completely re be reborn in your new energy. Allowing her frequency to activate any dormant DNA. Allowing her energy to come in and activate. Anything that you have been hiding from yourself. Bringing forward anything that has kept you stuck and allowing that to be completely cleared out with her love and her grace. Feeling any dormant DNA in your sexual energy coming to life. Feeling into Lilith as the liberator. The liberator of us from our cages. Either societal cages, ancestral cages or self-created cages. Feeling her as the liberator from our shackles and our chains. Feeling her as, her as the liberator from our dormant DNA, our oppressed nature. Feeling her as, her, her as the liberator from all of these fragments of our soul that we have gifted away to other people or that have been taken from us. As we call them back in, as we reclaim the fullness of our being once again through this lifetime and past. 
every lost fragment of your soul you can claim back in this instant, calling it all back, calling back any past life memories where you have been sexually repressed, where you have been wounded, where you have felt like you can't be in your full energy, allowing every single moment of your life to be brought to the surface, every single soul's expression you've ever experienced, to be cleared of any pain and trauma and wounding and be brought into its fullness in this now moment. As you feel this frequency is starting to really build within the root chakra and the sacral chakra, I now invite you to draw that frequency up through the solar plexus, through the heart space, through the throat, the third eye and the crown, allowing that frequency to clear through any blocks or resistance that are holding in those spaces, to clear through any dormant DNA and activate anything along its path. <sighs> to step into the full expression of self. Feeling that energy expand as you draw it up through your central channel. The channel that holds the root to the crown, your earth star to soul star, consciousness to the earth's core. Allow that central channel to become so full with this energy that it expands without any effort. It just expands on your breath and it expands throughout your entire frequency. Your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body, your etheric body. Allowing every single part of your existence to become completely enveloped in this loving divine energy. Clearing out anything that needs to be cleared on its path. Allowing that energy to expand, there's no effort. Just allowing the expansion, pulling it all the way up to the crown. Allowing it to be drawn all the way up into your soul star. Allowing it to expand like a vortex up into consciousness. Feeling what it's like to be completely connected. Above and below, completely in alignment. As you now bring that energy, all of that frequency into your heart space, allowing that sexual energy, Lilith's beautiful divine energy to be completely anchored in the heart space, that channel that you've created from consciousness to be open to coming down into the heart space, allowing this frequency to meet in the heart. And in the heart space, inviting in one of the animal totems, if you feel called to, you'll either be met with an owl or a snake. Just allowing that frequency to come forward for you, still guided by Lilith, still guided on this journey completely. And allowing that frequency to be shown to you. What does this animal guide? What does this animal totem? What does the expression of Lilith want you to know right now? Where do they want to take you? And just allowing that move through your system showing you what you need to know going on a journey with these energies just for a moment to begin to activate even more of this frequency our wisdom our primordial wisdom center our serpent energy that beautiful snake kundalini experience allowing it all to be completely activated and met with these animal totems, whatever feels the most aligned to you.
your energy and awareness now back into that heart space. Trusting that you can be taken to this experience whenever you need to. Asking for any final messages that you need to have right now in this moment. Feeling into if these guides need to stay with you for a period of time. Does the owl or the snake want to keep working with you for the next day, the next week, the next month? And just feeling into their messages they have for you. start to anchor in these frequencies I want you to start taking a few deep breaths into that heart space allowing that current that energy that vibration that exists within you to be completely grounded this frequency is yours to work with as you work with Lilith on a deeper and deeper level Feeling that frequency, we want to anchor that into the heart space right now. Calling it all the way into the heart and just taking a few really deep grounding breaths into that heart space. And on that exhale, just allowing anything that needs to be surrendered to be completely released. Trusting that this frequency is going to keep working with you for as long as you let it. And when you're ready, you can gently just release the animal's energy, the owl or the snake. And also just gently releasing any energetic hold you have over Lilith and inviting her to be part of your energetic being without having any kind of control or restrictions on that frequency. She may want to rest in your root chakra or in your womb space for a while. She may want to just rest in your heart to continue doing her work. But just really allowing yourself to let go of any control, any holds, any constrictions around that frequency. Thanking her for beginning to Activate this energy within you. And just taking a final sigh, releasing anything you're holding on to, placing hands over heart and hand over womb or root chakra. And just feeling that connection for a few beats. back to this meditation anytime you need. 